What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video and in today's video we're going to be showcasing my 100% Rainbow Hail. And I know some people watching right now are going to be like, yo Tiger, why'd you spend all those orbs on her? It was a total waste of orbs, why'd you do it? But nah, I'm here to convince you guys today that she is absolutely 100% not a waste of orbs. In fact, if you don't have any other top tier physical units to boost right now, like an LR Gogeta or a Super Vegito or a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, then she is actually a great candidate for those physical orbs and you'll see why in just a second but before we get into that let's take a quick look at what she does as a card so here are her stats at full potential not bad at all she has a physical type leader she gives physical types key plus two hp attack defense plus 90 percent which is the same leader skill as lr trunks minus one key and her super attack causes immense damage and lowers the enemy defense her passive gives her a 120 percent attack boost and she also has a guaranteed chance to launch an additional attack every turn, which has a great chance to become a super attack. So, she gets immense damage multiplier, she gets 120% on her passive, and she has a very high chance to do two supers, two supers per turn. So all those factors combined make her a very, very hard hitting unit. Her hidden potential skills that I went with are 15 crit and 11 additional, pretty standard, what I like to go with for most units, and her links are Battlefield Diva, Berserker, Saiyan Lineage, Warriors of Universe 6, Prepare for Battle, Tournament of Power, and Shattering the Limit. So unfortunately, she doesn't really have any attack links aside from Berserker, which won't activate like 90% of the time. She doesn't have Fierce Battle, which would have brought her to a whole other level, but even without that, she will still hit very hard, trust me. Um, and of course, Prepare for Battle is great because that will allow her to get key from a lot of the top tier units in this game. And that's pretty much it, guys. Oh, also she gets Universe... Uh, Universe Survival Saga as her category. Unfortunately, not in Peppy Gals. I think that's a bit of a injustice to our girl Kale here, but you know what? We're not going to get into that right now. So here's the physical team we're taking. Let's jump right into it. Uh, sadly, I don't have Jiren as a leader, but it doesn't really matter because we're on global and Jiren doesn't even have his awakening on global yet. So uh, physical team is the best team for her at the moment. We are jumping into the Ultra Instinct Goku event, by the way, because I thought it'd be a little bit more fun to actually run a... You know, just that like a real Dokkan event as opposed to boss rush every single time where you see the same enemies over and over again. And you know what? When the new boss rush comes out, it'll give us a little bit more material to showcase these characters on as well. Because, you know, those will be a little bit more different. At least something you're not used to seeing every single time. But, Ultra Instinct Goku, you know, one of the harder events in this game. Uh, of course, she has type advantage, so we get to see some nicer numbers as well. But there are some stages that are not in too. So overall, I think this is a really, really good stage to showcase the full potential of our girl Kale here. So let's just get into it, man. I'm, I'm really excited to see what's going on. Uh, and I mean, I, got, I have a general idea of like, what she can do, but you guys will get to see for the first time. Or, I mean, unless you already have your own Rainbow Kale and you're just watching this for fun and supporting me, which I do appreciate. But if you guys haven't seen how good Kale is, then you will see for the first time what a Rainbow 100% Kale can do. Sadly, Kale is in the second rotation right now, so we're not able to see her for a minute. And I think that our Gotenks, actually that's a friend Gotenks, but Gotenks even at like with one dupe or even free potential is an absolute monster. Look at that, 1.48 mil. So he might actually take care of this Goku right here. Um, we'll see what happens. Oh, actually no. <laughs> okay, so totally fine, totally fine. I absolutely love this team, by the way. I think the physical, mono physical team is probably my favorite mono team in Dokkan right now. Uh, AGL is a lot of fun too, SDR is a lot of fun too, but I think just because I have that rainbow LR Gogeta and um, also my physical Vegeta Blues rainbow too, I probably have the most rainbow units on this team that I have of any mono type team. So personally for me, I really, really like mono physical. But uh, let me know in the comments down below, actually, I'm curious, what are your favorite mono type teams? Do you guys still run mono teams because of all these category teams now? They're obviously a lot stronger, but I think it's still a lot of fun to run mono teams. But we're getting on a tangent. You know, you guys know how I like to, you know, get, get carried away with certain tangents sometimes. But okay, we got our Kale. Let's give her some orbs. Doesn't really matter. Hopefully she can get it. Actually, it doesn't really matter if she gets additional off because I think this one attack will take care of her, take care of this Goku. But let's see what she can do. Let's see what she can do. She doesn't get any defense on her passive, which means that she is going to be a bit squishy. But that's kind of the case with all Broly cards. And since she's basically the canon Broly, um, you know, it's not surprising that she is a little bit squishy. 904k crit right off the bat. And keep in mind, that's only one super. She had a very high chance if this Goku hadn't died. 
she would have had a very high chance to get additional second super off as well. So something to keep in mind right there. We're going to see her come back in a second and also probably get that boost from, ooh, this is the SDR stage. I just realized actually there are two SDR stages and there's also the uh, next Spirit Bomb SDR stage that will, you know, cause some issues for us because if we don't kill him before he attacks us, we're basically dead. So I didn't, I didn't, I didn't take that into consideration, but you know what? We're going to press on because this is, this is my bed that I laid or the bed that I... What's that? What's that? What's that expression again? Like you, you, oh, this is a bed that I made, so I'm gonna lie in it or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Yo, English is hard, man. All these like proverbs and idioms and stuff like that. But anyways, getting sidetracked again. Can we get a critical off? Possibly, you know, some some nice crits. All right, there we go. So the only way we're gonna get through this, like you know, without too much trouble, is gonna be if we get a bunch of crits. Well, you know, all of my physical characters on this team have solid investment in the potential skill system, so. I'm not like too worried, I am a little bit worried that we're going to die because I didn't bring the appropriate items. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Okay, LR Gogeta is going to go in the second slot. We've got another subscription, Kevin Stevens, welcome to the Tiger Squad. And uh, you know what, I'm going to, hmm, what should I do, what should I do? Let's use another Dende. And I think we'll be fine for the future stages when he goes super, when he goes uh, int because, you know, we've got the type of advantage there, so it's not going to be a huge issue. But if anything, Gogeta should take care of this Goku right here, right now. I want to see what Kale can do first. So obviously she's not tanking for, for much. 102k though on her attack stat. And we get another crit. Come on Kale, show out, show out. Ah, oh, no crit though. But additional super attack. Okay, over a million attack stat for each super. So you combine those, that's a over 2 million attack stat right there. And uh, oh my god. Yo, triple super though, triple super. So. 3 million, over 3 million attack stat if you combine those and 935k crit. Freaking beast, guys. What, what did I say? What did I say? Okay, let's try to not die on the stage now. <laughs> let's really try hard not to die here. I'm going to obviously use a Ghost Usher. And uh, the good thing is that he actually comes back as the last attack on the next turn too. So hopefully on the next rotation we can kill him and, you know, just move on with no issues. But if we die, we die. You know, we'll go to another, we'll go to a different event and test her there. How about that? I think that sounds good. Okay. Tell me something good, Go Tanks. The friend Go Tanks, I think, only has the free dupe, like free potential open, so he's not gonna be too impressive. But my uh, SJ3 Go Tanks, he is rainbowed, so hopefully he can get a nice crit and just take care of business here. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, 1.73 mil. And if you think about it, okay, Kale attacked three times, three supers. Technically, her attack stat was higher. Her attack stat was higher. Thank you, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Um, it was higher than this Gotenks here, because Gotenks went up to 1.7 mil with his one super, while the three supers combined went up to over 3 million for Kale. So she is just stupid good, my friends. Like, this just, just absolutely ridiculous. Now, um, let's put Kale in the front here again, give her these orbs, and let's see what she can do with type advantage against this UI Goku, who of course has boosted defense, and he does have some damage reduction, so... Numbers might be a little bit lower, but nonetheless, we have um, type advantage. She's going to tank that for 6,700, uh, which is not bad. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Come on. Ooh, 510k. Okay, but look, guaranteed double super. Or not not guaranteed double super, but very high chance. I think it's said a great chance of the second super. So that's fantastic. Honestly, that's fantastic. If Goku's defense wasn't so high, she would have done a lot more damage. And she's basically at least double supering every single turn. It's very rare, actually, that you see her not super twice. And of course, my Gogeta's gonna show out because <laughs> he's rainbowed. Um, and he's like, yo, I, I'm on this team right now. I have a freaking rainbow Gogeta's on this team. I'm not gonna be shown up by this massive female. Honestly, um, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just playing, I'm just playing. But yeah, uh, Gogeta is obviously going to do some damage as well. Actually, a lot of damage, and it's going to be a bit of the these two these two units, like the the Kale and the Gogeta, kind of fighting for for the showcase here. But uh, we do want to highlight the, the 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 what do you call it the Kale a little bit more. Although I don't know if I can not get a super off with Gogeta because he's just he just gets so much key, man. He gets three key for every Rainbow Sphere. And uh, it's just it's just hard not to get a super off. I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best not to get a super off with him because I don't want him to take over completely, take over the showcase. But you guys already saw it. Like Kale is just 
monstrous, man. We're gonna use a cookie next turn. We're gonna use a Deborah cookie. I'm also gonna use that tournament announcer guy for the additional 30% boost. So let's let's see what this like little mini nuke can do for us right here, right now. Um, Gogeta, I mean, Vegeta, why do you have to attack so many times? This is like one of those times where I don't want him to attack too many times. He, he just he just insists, insists on attacking and also getting crits off. Man, this team is a monster though. Like this team, this team is a monster. But like this team is just beastly, man. Everyone on this team is a monster. And I mean, it should come as no surprise why this is basically my favorite um, monotype team of all the monotype teams that I have. Okay, can we use another Ghost Usher? Is that is that gonna work? Okay, yeah, we can. Okay, okay, cool. I, I didn't remember if it was like you can only use one Ghost Usher per fight or if it's just like one Ghost Usher per stage, but obviously it was per stage. Let's use the Burrow Cookie here. Let's give us a lot, a lot of physical orbs. That's good enough for me. Good enough for me. I'm going to use this Tournament Announcer, 30% attack for physical type units. And let's just take all of these freaking physical orbs. Out. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, so it's 20 and it gives plus 5 for each, so 100% attack boost. 100% attack boost plus the 30% from the tournament announcer, so he gets 130% attack boost. It's gonna be nice. This might one shot Goku. If this isn't one shot Goku, then her second super should do the job. Attacks that goes up to almost 2 million. And she get a critical off. Come on. End it off with a bang. Kale, let's go. 1.5 mil, second super. 2 million again. Oh man, just such a monster of a unit, guys. She's basically and a double critical, so over 3 million damage with those two attacks. Obviously, you're not gonna be using a Deborah cookie every single time, but she's just overall very impressive, man. Very, very impressive. Can't complain at all about this card. Like I said, you have the spare orbs, you have her duped out, and you've been wanting to, you know, have a new rainbow unit in your collection. She's definitely a good candidate for those orbs. I just had a bunch of um, orbs lying around for my Flamingo Wishes and all those things. They've been giving out orbs like pretty regularly these days. So yeah, I was like, you know, why not? Might as well give it to her. And I already rainbowed her um, her friend Khalifla a long time ago. So yo, I had to give that love to my girl Kale. And uh, there you have it, guys. Berserker Kale, physical 100%. Berserker Kale, absolute beast. Really, really good. Um, not much else to say. I'm sure you guys can agree in the comments down below that she is a fantastic fantastic unit and uh, it's a great addition on any physical team and of course universal uh, universe survival saga team as well if you have the jiren but that's gonna do it for the showcase today guys i think she is a fantastic unit absolutely in love with it i'm gonna be running her a lot on my physical team and uh yeah let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of her if you guys think that she is worth the orbs or not like i said i totally think she is but anyways guys if you like the video today, make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger, tiger Squad today. <laughs> Man, English is freaking hard. Anyways, guys, as always, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.